in a poll bound state where he is a sitting MLA. Virupaksha Reddy of the BJP was on the run, absconding from the Karnataka police for the last 100 hours and counting. Finally, today, after getting bail, some relief. This BJP MLA accused in a bribery case along with his son Prashant Madal who was arrested. He finally decided it was time to come out of hiding. In his court argument, Virupaksha, uh, Virupakshapa said and his legal counsel feigned innocence claiming the case against him was filed to settle personal scores and meant only to harass him. He hasn't explained however why he chose to remain in hiding despite swearing an oath to the constitution to uphold rule of the law and answer the summons by the police. This tainted BJP MLA further claimed there was no proof of any undue favours or misuse of public office claiming he never demanded or received any bribe. Well, 8 crore rupees was found in his son's house and his son is now in jail. While the Karnataka High Court has granted bail to this BJP MLA, it also directed him to appear before the Loka Yukta within the next 48 hours. Well, after being on the run for over 100 hours, guess what? this BJP MLA thought it appropriate to do. He surfaced at Davangere in Karnataka where he received a grand hero's welcome by BJP party workers and his supporters. Take a look at these absolutely shameful images of BJP supporters welcoming back an MLA who's been absconding for 700 hours, 100 hours he's been absconding. He's been welcomed back like some kind of war hero. He's been hiding from the police for 100 hours after 8 crore rupees was raided from his son's house, forcing him to resign as chairman of a local industrial body. So this is the story of Diru Pakshappa, Karnataka BJP MLA who evaded the police for 100 hours and then only decided to show his face once he got bail. I want to go across to India today's Sagai Raj who is live with us from Bengaluru. Uh, Sagai. Minutes after he gets bail, he shows his face, he's been hiding from the police. The Karnataka police obviously want us to believe that they had no idea where he was, so they had no powers at all. And once he comes out, there's practically a Vijay Yatra waiting for this BJP MLA. Absolutely, uh, Shiv. If you notice that uh, he was incommunicado, there was a notice which was being issued by Lokayta Police to give a sports version, to give a statement with the Lokayta Police, which is investigating this particular case. And he is A1. Uh, his son is A2, and other people are A3 and A4 and A5. Well, A1 is absconding, whereas the other people in this particular case have been arrested by the police and they have been produced in front of the court. And uh, BJP maintains that uh, they are, uh, uh, the, they have zero tolerance against corruption but their own government their own system their own police have uh, uh, not able to trace their own MLA who was incommunicado and he was untraceable after this kind of uh, corruption charges on the other side the Congress is trying to get political mileage out of this particular case where they have uh, hit out at Bombay government on 40 percent Sarkar and they have also carried out uh, a campaign against this particular MLA there were posters this morning which was seen in his constituency saying that he's missing and there, there are allegations that government is protecting. But as we see now, everything seems to be uh, qu qu quite uh, scripted in this entire uh, uh, case of Virupsha, uh, model Virupaksha. So we need to wait and watch what will happen in, uh, uh, after this particular incident, after interim, interim bail, whether he will come out uh, uh, clean in this particular case, yeah. whether he will get a ticket uh, from BJP to contest from Chandagiri constituency. It's going to be very interesting to see whether he gets a ticket to contest after... Uh, you know, getting bail, but still the taint is definitely there. I mean, we're not saying he's guilty, but why abscond from the police just after your house has been raided and your son has been arrested? It looks very suspicious and does not augur well for someone who has taken oath of office on the Indian constitution. Sagay, thank you very much for that.